Okay, this is a follow-up to the last krill versus fish oil video. This one is titled, Fish Oil Crushes Krill Oil, so that the situation is perfectly clear. Remember what I said in the last video, that krill oil is a carotenoid supplement. And in that last video, we talked about this paper here that compared the bioavailability of various oil sources of EPA, DHA, ethyl ester fish oil, triglyceride fish oil, and krill oil, which typically is in a phospho or is in a phospholipid form. And what they found basically is that when they compared the oils and the dose was, my pointer here, and the dose was identical. Where is it here? So it is 1,680, 1,680 for triglyceride, ethyl ester, and krill oil. And remember, you had to take 14 capsules of krill versus four capsules. So they found that here, the that there was Krill oil was the best absorbed, but because of the high standard deviation, there were no significant differences. Let's say that's wrong. Let's say that this study here is absolutely, perfectly correct. Absolutely correct. So look what we're told here. The metabolic effects of krill oil are essentially similar to those of fish, but at a lower dose of EPA, DHA, and healthy volunteers. So in this study, what they did is they gave fish oil uh, as a source of EPA DHA, and they got 864 milligrams of EPA DHA compared to 543 milligrams of EPA DHA from krill oil. So this means that there was 62.8% of the fish oil EPA dose from krill oil. Okay, so let's look at this again real quick here. 864 milligrams of omega-3 EPA DHA from fish times 62.8 percent, point six two eight gives us our 543, roughly 543 milligrams of EPA DHA from krill oil. And the outcome was similar bioavailability. So let's look at, ha let's look at this from the perspective of cost, because cost is the key, not just this, this is what people seem to miss with this. So a fish oil that delivers 1,200 milligrams of EPA DHA costs about 25 bucks for a month supply. That's what I have on the, uh, the D-Flame website. You can get it even cheaper if you want to get fish oil with no flavoring at all. So if we take 1,200 milligrams times 62.8%, we need to get 750 at least milligrams of 750 milligrams of, as it says here, you need at least 750 milligrams of EPA DHA from, quip, from krill to equal 1,200 milligrams of EPA DHA from fish oil to get equivalent bioavailability. Okay, so let's look at pricing. We're going to look at a retail versus a professional uh, supplier. So Mercola is pretty big fan of krill oil, and I'm not a non-fan of krill oil. I'm just... I think we should look at it logically, objectively, rather than just saying that krill oil crushes, <laughs> sorry, krill oil crushes fish oil. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. So here we go. So this is uh, Puritan's Pride website. They're selling Mercola's 60 capsule krill oil for 30 bucks a bottle. 30 bucks a bottle. You can actually get 180 from Mercola directly for less, but we're going to go with Puritan's Pride here. 30 bucks a bottle for 60 caps. So uh, in two caps, you get 155 milligrams. Two caps, 155 milligrams. This means that 10 capsules provides 775 milligrams. This means you need to get five bottles per month to get 775 milligrams, you know, to hit the 7, 750 number that we need to go to go for. So we gotta get five bottles a month. Five bottles a month will cost you 150 bucks per month. 150 bucks per month to get 775 milligrams of EPA DHA for the equivalent bioavailability that you will get with just 25 bucks 
from fish oil, EPA, DHA. Let's look at Douglas Labs, a professional uh, supplier. So 60 count at 60 bucks. 60 count at 60 bucks. Let's see how this works out. So they're soft gels. You take two, you get, you get 240 milligrams. So two caps gives you, two caps gives you 240. So one cap will give you 120. You take 750 divided by 120. You need 6.2 caps per day of the Douglas product, which means that you will need three bottles per month at 180 bucks per month to <laughs> get the equivalent of what you would get with just 25 bucks of fish oil. So here you have, for the same bioavailability, when, you, when you're looking at 1,200 milligrams of EPA DHA from fish oil, you need 750 milligrams of EPA DHA from krill oil, one bottle of fish oil per month, 25 bucks or less if you go cheapo without getting the nice flavor, uh, orange or whatever it is that you're looking for compared to no flavoring. Versus, so one bottle, 25 bucks. Versus krill, so Mercola, you want to get five bottles from without cost you 150, and at Douglas, it'll be 180 bucks per month. Does it need to be any clearer than this? This whole bioavailability thing is nice. It's very nice, but on a day-to-day -day basis, during tough economic times, unless you're rich, you gotta go for uh, fish oil to get your EPA DHA, which is why fish oil doesn't beat it, crushes krill oil. Case closed.